Hulu? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. Sup guys, Finji and bringing you all another right video with the right products for the right price. Omega shout out goes the right stuff anime for sending over After War Gundam X Collection 1 to share with you all. Whenever you become curious of this fine X factor, then make sure to peep the description section below to check out the exciting right stuff for the right price. The box art is really nice this time around. The focus is more on Gerard and his Gundam X this time. And what sets this box art apart is the fact that it uses a lot of variants of dark color. The art design is finely detailed due to creating a strong sense of detail with the use of white and shadows. And the dark background spills over let me move that over, spills over to the spinal portion of the cover and continues over to the back of the box art, allowing the white to dominate the sense of sight. And when I say the white dominates the sense of sight is the white stands out. So it pops and the white is what you're going to be focusing more on as you're looking through the art. I really do like the clean, crisp thumbnails of the anime itself down towards the bottom. So why don't we go ahead and begin by reading a summation of the series itself. 15 years after a devastating war, a new generation rises to meet the future. What started as a single space colony's war for independence turned into an all-out war between the space colonies and Earth. No one was safe from the conflict and Earth, the home of all humanity, suffered heavy damage in the fighting. Almost all of Earth's population, once as many as 10 billion people, was lost. It's only now, 15 years after the end of the war, that Earth's environment has at least stabilized again. Gerard Ran is a war orphan, but when it comes to mobile suits, he has superb knowledge and skills. He receives a request from a mysterious gentleman to rescue a girl named Tifa, and so he sneaks aboard the Freedon, the land warship where she is held captive. With the girl safely in his care, he returns to the mysterious gentleman, but when Tifa sees the man, she experiences some severe panic, mental trauma, and quickly, judging the situation, Gerard takes her and escapes. Guided by her unusual powers, they end up at the remains of an old Federation factory where they find the mobile suit Gundam X. Special features, clean openings, one and two, clean endings, one and two TV commercials, as well as Blu-ray commercials. Now, just so that you are aware, this is spoken only in Japanese, but it does come with English subtitles. So let's take a look inside. When it comes to the more well-known Gundam sets, you usually get beautifully crafted art inside and After War Gundam X is no exception to that rule. The discs follow a tone similar to the box art. You know, a lot of dark colors and shadows. Now at first, I thought, why does the first disc look almost completely black. You see nothing. Only thing you see is maybe a few dots which probably more than likely represent stars in the background. And wouldn't you know it? Actually, I didn't know it. It's science! The phases of the moon! Look! The, on the disc covers, you get like the phases of the moon. Like the moon becomes more visible as you move to the next disc 
that was definitely a very unique design choice very unique usually a lot of times when it comes to the Gundam sets that they have usually you would get a, like various Gundam prints but this time we get phases of the moon which I thought was really cool oh I didn't see you there <laughs> Guys, you're still watching this video, therefore you must be interested in After War Gundam <coughs> So be sure to check out the description section below to click on the link to get the right stuff for the right price. So let's talk. After War Gundam <coughs> is as it sounds. This one has a different concept which I find very refreshing. The battle for independence between the space colonies and Earth led to the destruction of Earth. Now, not total destruction, but severe damage, and that was mentioned earlier on in the video during the summation. So all of the surviving mobile suit pilots did whatever it took to get jobs. And the jobs mostly involved obtaining and selling information. And the most valuable possession to sell is the mobile suits themselves, especially Gundams. And the reason for this is due to the fact that mobile suits are really hard to come by. I mean, extremely hard. So mobile suits can either be used to tip the odds in someone's favor in terms of power or just to make a huge wealth of money by selling the parts. It's basically like Fortnite Battle Royale. Total chaotic free-for-all. That's how I describe this anime series because everyone is just going in on each other. It's like the survival of the fittest kind of thing, do whatever it takes to make bread or do whatever it takes to protect the people that you care about. And so we have our boy Gerard, the main protagonist here, orphaned at an early age and he had to learn to survive on his own. Now fortunately for him, he's well versed in the handling of mobile suits. And one thing that I would like to make clear is there's some references from the Gundam universe because in the Gundam franchise there are individuals known as new types who have the ability to predict movements of their enemy. Tifa's a new type that can also not only predict the movements of her enemy, but she can also unlock the power of the Gundam X. Now Tifa is considered to be the most valuable weapon since she is the key to using a power that can tip the balance of one's favor. Huge balance. Because the kind of power that the Gundam X is extremely destructive and she's the one that can that is the key to unlocking that power so gerard and tifa formed a bond through relatable experiences and found themselves on the run together and gerard is desperately looking out for the welfare of tifa by assessing the threat level of those the pair encounters are you a friend or foe and i found that find that to be a very interesting concept when it comes to this because it's huge like their relationship is a huge part of this series which is very interesting and i can't wait to watch more of it to learn more about the pair so to keep in mind, this series does not have English voice acting, but like I said previously, there are subtitles. The animation is really cool as well, and DUDE! <laughs> the beam rifle the Gundam X uses is pretty insane. I mean, like, dude. That reminded me so much of Yusuke's spirit gun. The amount of power that that, that, that thing has, it's immense. <laughs> and the concept of the plot is similar in some ways when it comes to previous Gundam series. However, it's very unique and refreshing. You know, it's also worth noting that this Gundam series is very easy to get into due to the lack of a bunch of political dialogue and 
you don't have to waste a lot of time backtracking in order to understand various things. So it's a very enjoyable series that is worth checking out. And so remember, if you want to write stuff, then go to writestuffanime.com. Be breezy, be safe out there, and most importantly of all, be blessed. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm the one,